Welcome back everybody to Dofus Touch. It's been some time since I last talked to you guys, uh, but I've been mostly focusing on my professions. You can see here that on this character I got to level 60 Shoemaker, 30 Tailor and 60 Jeweler, but also have some other characters with professions like Lumberjack, Miner, uh, some carving professions and so on. So uh, today is the first a video or episode focusing on certain monsters and their uh, regions that they are found in, also their families they belong to. It's gonna be like a series where I'm gonna talk about regions and which monsters you can find in there, what they are good for, should you or should you not be fighting them. This one is going to be about Astrub and its surroundings. Right here on the map uh, you can see the Astrub and um, areas around it. Now I'm not gonna go through all of them, uh, some are not just worth visiting and fighting. Most notably the outskirts. You can find uh, small gobbles, gobbles, uh, arachnids, maybe a couple mosquitoes but it's for level 10s, not that good of a farming area and I think it should be skipped. But w what we can start with is the city itself. Uh, it's only got one family of monsters and those are PVs, those small birds and we can start a fight so you see how they um, how they fight against. Uh, now these are two yellow and red PV, we, we have three stars so they're not fought for XP just to uh, say that straight off the bat. They're fought uh, for their uh, drops and most notably those drops are, just a second, uh, sesame seeds. Now sesame seeds are used by uh, tailors and they are constantly, constantly selling on the market for, I don't know, like 400, 500 commas. And right now we should get a couple of them. I didn't do the uh, challenge, so that might reduce the drop. So I only got one, but if you check the market and come on market, there we go, and you type in says me and go to resources seed, they should be listed uh, there. All the tailors that want to grind to level 60 uh, need them because it's the most profitable um, uh, recipe. Right now they're selling for, like you see, average price is 448. But there, uh, there are times like uh, on the weekend when a lot of people are on and they are constantly buying and selling. You can easily sell them for more than that. Uh, Peewees, great family from um, from Astrup City. If you want to do all the achievements you're eventually gonna have to uh, fight all the monsters and do challenges uh, with every single uh, beast in this uh, little game. There are uh, different colors of peewees. You will find that concept uh, all around Dofus, where within a certain family there's a couple of monsters that have weaknesses and resistances to certain elements depending on their color. So for example, uh, blue peewees will have a weakness to fire, and the uh, green peewees will have resistance to earth and so on and so forth. Uh, also, there's another area in Astro which I won't be uh, visiting right now. It's called the tunnels. And uh, let me see where that is exactly. All right, so a couple more down. There we go. I won't be going inside because um, there's only Tophus and Erechnes on the first level, but you can get the achievement just by uh, just from going inside. <clears throat> and on the second level, uh, you will encounter rats. Now there, they aren't that big a deal. I mean, you can fight them, but they don't drop anything spe uh, special, and they're not that good uh, for early levels. I mean, there are better areas to uh, go to. All right, take this achievement and head north towards towards the fields. Now in the fields, logically, you will find flowers. 
some of them we fought in Incarnum. Now in the fields you will find uh, wild sunflowers, the morning roses, dandelions, mosquitoes, mushes and uh, tofus as well. So let's head up north and they're just stronger versions of those that we've seen in Incarnum. Uh, their drops uh, are, I can say this, they, they drop a lot. I mean, a couple of them will drop several things, not like peewees that will just drop their uh, feathers and seeds. So, for example, let's take this little group, level 29. Like I said, they're just stronger versions of the monsters we've seen in Incarnum. So, our hand, pretty good damage on the dandelion. And if you tap on the rose or any monster in the timeline or here on it uh, itself, you will see its characteristics and see that the rose has some resistance to fire, but it's weak to earth. So let's just finish it off. Even though it's got 10%, shouldn't be too hard. And there we go. We just got one flower because this mob had no stars and only two monsters in it and me being the only um, adversary, so not a lot of drops right there. If you take a look around the fields area, you will see those plants. They're also good, a good source of XP, so if you want to level there, it's perfectly fine. But even better area to uh, gain levels early on in Astrup is the forest. Now in the forest, there we go, you will find mobs like these. Take the achievement. So you got mosquitoes, you got these uh, mushmush and prespex. Also uh, boars and there's a small hole with chafers or skeletons in Astrub, which is a very popular uh, spot back in the day when Astrub was a f um, pay to play. I mean when you had to buy the subscription to get out of Astrub. So it was a very popular spot where you could level when you were above like level 40 or so. But also there's a different area in Astrub which we'll get to later. Uh, but for now, let's check out the forest. Like I said, Prespex, Boars, Mushes and Mosquitoes. Prespex are a great, great source of XP. And I mean, they are relatively hard to uh, a battle against also nope also there is this uh millibo wolf so kind of like a werewolf thing and for now i think we should skip him because he's just too too difficult for us but we can find a mob with a uh, boar and the prospect so we see how they um how we stand up against them now in the forest you can see a lot of the trees, a lot of chestnut and ash, so it's a good spot for uh, lumberjacks to get their levels up for the lumberjack profession. So we can take this uh, Prespec and Mushmush, just so you see what Prespecs do in battles. Their set, Prespec set, is one of the best wisdom sets early in the game, because with only four parts it gives a lot of wisdom, its cloak is absolutely great, up to 30 wisdom, I think. So, yeah, they are, they are pretty, and they are pretty expensive. You will see later why. So this Prespec has a couple of, couple of um, spells. It's got a hand just like us, and it's got that invisibility spell, which is extremely annoying. So you can try and target it with uh, dif different area effect spells. But it's usually going to hide behind some obstacles, so you cannot target it, just like there. Eventually that spell is gonna wear off, so you can uh, get back in the fight. And it is weak to fire. Also, actually it's weak to every single element. And I think that in a couple of turns he should be done. And we also got that nice challenge, Mystique. Hiding behind obstacles against Xeller is not a great idea because it has a couple of spells that uh, don't requ require a line of sight. One of them is Xeller Sandglass, which we can use now, or the area effect spell are 
temporal dust. So prospect is gone. And we dropped a, an adventure cloak, which was, you, you can see here that you can sell it for 3000 commas. When the server just opened, they went for 20 or even more uh, thousand commas. So they were pretty, pretty, um, I mean, sought for. All right, so we got a boar and a couple of mushes. I think we can take these on, but we have to heal a little. So let's use our potions to get back to full health so we can battle uh, with full initiative and full health points. All right, it's got a one star and let's start. Use only one movement point, so that should be all right. Get the mushes first and then focus on the boar. Mm, nope, can't reach them both. So boars have four or five uh, movement points depending on their level. Um, this one has five and there are stronger versions of uh, boars in uh, a Machna forest, the, the big forest below Astrub. But this one has 163, so he shouldn't be that hard to um, defeat. Perfect. Now we can use our temporal dust and get them both. You will now see the spell that I think is the only spell the boar has. It's the pushback spell and it's called, let's see what it's called. Scour skewering. All right. So it just pushes you back, which uh, I lost 12, 12 HP, which is not a big deal, but stronger, stronger boars, ones with higher levels, they will push you a lot. I mean, like I only got pushed two or three cells. I don't know, but uh, boars at levels, I don't know, 28, they can push you up to five, uh, five cells, which isn't a big problem if you're in, in the open, like I am right now. But if you're stuck against the wall, they will push you in the wall. And because of that pushback damage, you will suffer a lot. I mean, they're really nasty when they push you against the wall. All right, another level. And you can see we got quite a lot of drops. Snout here, acorn. They're not really popular drops. I mean, they're not worth a lot. But as I was saying, Prespix, let's see the, the here and type in Prespix. All right. So you can see it drops Prespix mains with the chance of dropping 1%. Average price is almost 30,000 commas, which is half of your weekly subscription. So if you manage to drop that, it's really good. Those mains are used for crafting, like I said, Prespic gear. Um, clo uh, I think it's... Actually, let's see what they're used for. I think it's just for the headgear. And the ring and the belt. So three out of four uh, set pieces need these mains. So you can see if, if you just add up uh, three, five, uh, eight mains, so that's almost, that's what, 240, something like that. Two, uh, 240,000 comments just for that one um, resource. Not to mention you have to find a crafter, which will probably um, charge you for making those items. So yeah, all in all, prospects, uh, great, great source of XP. Like you saw, I, I leveled up as well. Um, great drops, and maybe not right now because before they were they were even uh, more, more expensive. But still, there are a couple of you can find prospect hunts going on throughout the day, uh, people hunting for prospect uh, resources. All right, so that's it about for the forest. Uh, you can see there's a lumberjack workshop. If you want to level up your lumberjack profession, it's a great, great spot. And um, yeah, I think I think that's it for the forest. And now we can move to... Oh, there's also one interesting area in the forest where you can find 
uh, bandits and those are right here they're they're nothing uh, spectacular i mean they got a, a lin linear attack and i think 60 hp but we can actually uh get a fight against them so you can see what they are uh, what they look like all right so scanty challenge just one action per um do not repeat the same action throughout the fight as you can see linear attack uh, nothing major right there so let's finish this one off and this challenge gets you a lot of extra loot and XP bonus so if you manage to complete it it's gonna be uh, very fruitful especially if you're in a big group so right now i got a huge increase in xp because two bad bandits alone wouldn't get me uh, that that much experience so like i said nothing special we can move towards the crack rocks they're situated in the area uh, called astro mines and they're, they're really hard to uh, fight against, especially if there's a big group of like six or eight of them. You should get a group to uh, face them. Because right now, alone, I can't handle more than one. If the map isn't really good, I could maybe kill two. But there is not much point into doing more than two, because the experience just drops after, um, after the monsters that you're fighting against, if they're group, uh, the group's level is way higher than yours. So we got two of them. As you can see, they are the highest level monsters in Astrobaria, going up to level 28. And is there a single? Yes, this is a single crack rock. All right. So we can take this one on and see what they look like. So this is a pretty good map, I think I could get two of them here, just snipe them from afar with my hand and temporal dust. But I think that one, uh, just for this video's purposes, should be good enough. Alright, this uh, alliance channel, the yellow one, it becomes available if your guild is in an alliance so all the guilds in that particular alliance can use that channel to communicate and we will just engage him from from distance he's got four movement points so eventually he's gonna catch up with us and that should be in next turn and we'll see i'm i'm not gonna kill him just because i want to show you uh, or he wants to show you his um, spells. So it's also only one spell called Hammering. Not only does it uh, reduce your HP as every spell, but it also gives him extra damage for five ter turns and it uh, reduces your action points. So imagine standing around four Crack Rocks or Creek Rocks and all of them hammering you and just draining your action points so you don't want to get uh, in the middle of that so they are pretty good xp you see for only what was it minute and a half i got um, 13,000 experience points now granted it was with the challenge but still for that one easy monster you get uh, a lot of xp uh, so this is the only only monster in this Astro Mines area and we can just visit the Astro Meadow it's nothing special it's just like the fields all right get that achievement it's just like the fields with the addition of gobbles so you you can see that it's got mushes it's got larvae but it also has gobbles which fields um, do not um, Arachnes can be also found in the fields and I think I think that's pretty much it for for the areas around Astrub. Um, 
I can just go to the beach and show you how that looks. And while we're going there, we can also check the uh, bridge towards Pandala, this island right here, for which you have to complete a quest to gain access to it. Other areas in Astrup, like I said, these are not all. Uh, below or south, south of the walls, you got Tofu Corner, which is, I think, pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you can find tofus and larvae. Uh, not worth visiting if you want to drop something from Tophus. There, I don't know, their feathers or their eggs, you can go there. South of that is the uh, Gobble Breeding Station, which is the only place you can find Gobble War Chiefs in Astrup. There are better areas to farm Gobbles, and that's south of 5-7 uh, Zap, and it's called the Gobble Corner. So, these two areas south of Astrub, uh, Tofu Corner and uh, Gobble Breeding Station, level 10. I mean, you can visit them just for achievements, so you get that XP boost. Uh, Astrub Forest we visited, and the Cradle, or formerly known as Tynella, is also a Gobble area, and it's the area where the Gobble Dungeon is. So I'm gonna save that area for later, when we're going to visit the Gobble Dungeon. And... Uh, yeah, the, the beach, you can see the bridge to Pandala. We're not gonna take this quest just yet, but we're gonna go to see uh, some snappers in the inlet area. It's also an area which contains a dungeon. Alright, so you can see these... Uh, there's only one here. But there's a lot of them. Blue, white, orange, you can see, again, multiple colors. Uh, it has snappers and crabs. I'm gonna save this area for later, because it also has a dungeon there, uh, called uh, Sand Dungeon. And actually, there's one more dungeon, so three dungeons in this small, um, small area. Small region, I should say. Uh, field Dungeon. It's, it's got plants, it's got flowers our usual uh, uh, flowery families. So when we go to the dungeon, we can see <clears throat> how that looks like. So I think that's pretty much it. Uh, we didn't go through all the areas, but I think I uh, showed you the most important ones. Um, you can stick around in Astrup, just explore. I mean, I would recommend it just to get that achievement. But staying for too long is not recommended, because there are better mobs, better monsters um, around. Uh, I mean, east, west, south, wherever. Um, you can see Pandala Island on the east. There's, there's great mobs right here in the Lousy Pig Plain for level 35. And if you want to farm gobbles, you can go to the Gobble Corner. Their drops actually sell pretty, pretty good. Their leather and their uh, wool is very much needed by uh, professions. Uh, so, yeah, you can sell them on the market for a pretty good price. Alright, so that covers it for the Ostrub region and regions around the city. I hope you liked this video and I gave you some um, useful insights about monsters and their families around Ostrub. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.